Here are some of the top stories we'll be watching this week. The European Commission is set to rule on Italy's budget. Germany will publish final data for its third quarter GDP. Investors will be watching for EasyJet's full year results. And US retailers get set for Black Friday. First up, Italy is on course to receive fines from the European Commission over its budget. This comes after Rome defied calls to revise its spending plans for 2019. The Commission has already rejected Italy's draft budget, saying the country's high debt-to-GDP ratio is unacceptable. If Italy fails to meet its demands by Wednesday, then the Commission could impose penalties, which would be unprecedented. But as Miles Johnson explains, Italian leaders may be hoping they can use it to their advantage. The real question is how aggressive in its rhetoric and its tone does the European Commission want to be when dealing with Rome? Because there are, the, there are these issues that basically the European Commission knows that Rome's government, especially um, Matteo Salvini, the leader of the Lega party and um, deputy prime minister, will use any opportunity it can to fight with the European Commission and use this sort of conflict for domestic political gains. And this is especially important ahead of European elections next year, where Salvini himself has said that he wants to target those as a way of sort of storming Europe and changing it from within. Now to Germany, where the government will publish its final estimate of third quarter GDP on Friday. The largest Eurozone economy shrank by 0.2% last quarter, and Friday's results are expected to continue the downward trend thanks to low net exports and falling private consumption. Manufacturing has also played a part in the negative outlook. Claire Jones has more. In the third quarter, we saw the economy here shrink for the first time in three years. What we'll get this week is some more data showing exactly why the economy contracted. The most likely bet is that it's to do with the troubles of the car makers. The car makers have been struggling to meet some new EU emission standards on time. That delay is likely to prove temporary. The car makers' woes are likely to ebb and we're likely to see some comeback from them in the fourth quarter. However, there are signs that exports in general are going to be weaker, especially to China, and that will weigh on growth in the German economy in the years to come. Low-cost airlines are struggling in Europe at the moment, with several failing in recent months due to rising oil prices and more congestion in the skies. So investors in EasyJet will be hoping the company can avoid similar turbulence when it announces full-year results on Tuesday. A recent trading update anticipated full-year profits before tax could be as high as £580 million. But as Josh Sparrow reports, EasyJet could still face tough times ahead. EasyJet's investors will be hoping it can live up to its recent promise. At the end of September, it issued a trading update in which it said its profits were going to be at the higher end of its expectation. That comes after a difficult year for a lot of the European aviation industry, in which small airlines have failed. All of those falling out mean that there's fewer seats in the market, which means that other airlines can raise their prices somewhat and also face a little less competition. If EasyJet does as well as it hopes, that still doesn't mean 2019 is going to be any easier. Facing a much higher fuel bill coming off the back of some successful hedges will be difficult for the airline and it's going to have to learn to live with that or adapt and cut its costs appropriately. And finally, US retailers are gearing up for Black Friday, which is the biggest shopping day of the year. This year, big names will be going to even greater lengths to land customers and get ahead of the competition. Walmart, for example, will be offering online deals from 10 p.m. on Wednesday. That's earlier than ever before. And elsewhere, retailers will be looking to make both online and in-store shopping even more convenient, as Alistair Gray reports. Recent data show shown Americans are spending big. The National Retail Federation is expecting them to splash out at least $717 billion over the festive season as a whole. That's up more than 4% from last year. The shopping bonanza this week should give us an early indication of just how accurate these pretty bullish predictions are. And despite the economic backdrop, competition is still fierce. What we're seeing is US retailers competing not just in price, but also consumer convenience. Several companies, including Target, are waiving the minimum amount you need to spend to get free shipping. And in the stores, retailers are trying to make the experience as hassle-free as possible. Walmart will have maps on its mobile apps to point customers to the best deals. It's also equipping staff with mobile checkouts to reduce queues. And that's what the week ahead looks like from the Financial Times in London.